Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and uh, this lesson is time to the minute. So we're going to uh, be able to tell time right up to the minute on this. This is lesson 10-1 in our textbook. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at www.mrmathblog.com. Okay, so here's our common core strand here. And we're going to solve some problems, um, uh, uh, in this case, using the intervals of time here. So how can we tell time to the nearest minute? That's what this lesson's all about. Okay. So it's probably springtime right now uh, in your area. Um, it is in my area right now. So um, uh, remember, you guys are more familiar with uh, telling time using a digital clock right here. Well, when I grew up, everybody told time with these things. They're called uh, analog clocks right here. And you probably have one of these in your classrooms right here. So um, I'm getting more and more students not knowing how to tell time with these because they, they have these right here. So we're going to learn how to tell time on an analog clock right here, okay? So here we go. So the San Francisco Giants um, uh, baseball home opener is against the Colorado Rockies. The clock shows the time when the first pitch will be thrown. So what time uh, will the first pitch be thrown? Okay, so here's our clock over here. And then, so let's underline the question, and where uh, uh, will we look to find the time? Okay, so we're going to underline that. Here's the question. What time will the first pitch be thrown? And we're going to look at this clock right over here to find the time. Okay, this clock says it's going to tell us the time right here. So, okay, so let's look at the time of the face clock. And, wh and what does the hour hand tell us? Okay, well, the hour hand is always the smaller hand right here. So this hour hand is right in between the 1 and the 2, okay? And, and you'll find out later that uh, one, 1 o'clock is written as 1 with a colon and two zeros. So this says 1 o'clock. This says 2 o'clock. So this is in between the 1 and the 2 right here. So this hour hand is in between the 1 and the 2. All right, so what does the minute hand tell us? Well, the minute hand tells us it's on the 7 over there. Okay, well, that, that tells us um, it's going to help us find out how many minutes past 1 o'clock. It's somewhere between 1 and 2. We know that. And so how many minutes past 1 o'clock is that? And that's what this minute hand tells us right here. Okay, so in one minute, the minute hand moves uh, one mark uh, uh, to the next mark on the clock. So I think I enlarged the clock here. Yeah, so here's the clock right here. So this is one minute. This little space is one minute right here. And then from here to here is another one minute. And check this out. So there's two minutes. There's three minutes. There's four minutes. There's five minutes, so we're going to learn how to count by fives. Each each number counts for five minutes right here. So, so uh, it takes five minutes for the minute hand to move from one number to the next number on a clock. So uh, as the uh, the minute hand goes from here to here, that's five minutes, and then from here to here is another five minutes. Okay, so it keeps going five minutes. So. This is five minutes, this is five minutes, this is five minutes, this is five minutes, and so on. So we're going to count by fives. Do you remember counting by fives? Uh, so we can count the numbers by fives to tell how many, uh, uh, how many times to do five minutes. So we just start up here at the 12. The 12 starts at zero, so we're just going to jump by five. So this will be zero, this is going to be five, ten, 15 and so on right there. So here's 0, here's 5 minutes, here's 10 minutes right here, here's 15 minutes right here. So if the minute hand started right here, it's way down here on the 7. We're going to keep counting by 5s to see how many minutes it is past uh, 1 o'clock. Because if it was up here on the 12 right here, it would be exactly 1 o'clock right there. Okay, so let's keep going. Alright, so we're going to keep counting by 5s until we get all the way to here. So here's a uh, 5. 10, 15, and this is going to be 20 right here. You guys with me? Okay, so there's 20, and then count 25. Remember counting? Uh, 30, 35 right there. So it's 35 minutes past the hour right there. So we're going to write it as 135 because it's between the 1 and the 2, so we knew it was 1 something. So we write it like this, 1 with a colon, 35, and it is read as 135, okay? Or you can say 35 minutes after 1 right there, okay? So 135 is the same as 35 minutes after 1. And we write it like this. one. This says 135. Or you can also read it as 35 minutes after 1 o'clock right there, okay? All right, so it's pretty easy, huh? So the first pitch will be thrown at 135. Okay, I can't wait. 
Okay, so how to skip counting by fives help us tell the time when the minute hand points to a number. Well, uh, when we look at this, since each uh, mark counts one minute and each number on the analog clock counts as five minutes, we can just count by fives. So if the if the minute hand is on the on one of the numbers, then we can just count by fives. This is zero. Remember, this starts at zero, so there's a jump: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, so it got us to 35. Check it out. If we kept going, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There's 60 minutes in an hour. So then when that goes all the way around the clock, there's 60 minutes. So is 135 a reasonable answer and explain? Well, yeah, baseball games often start in the early afternoon. I sometimes go to the San Francisco Giants baseball game, and it... Uh, uh, we, we live about two hours away, and it takes us a couple hours to drive there, and then we get there by the time baseball game starts and have a great time. Okay, so uh, so here we're going to count by fives and ones uh, to help find the time right here. So we're going to find uh, minutes after the hour right here. So this is not exactly on the five right here. So look at this time on the clock right here. And then uh, what does the hour hand tell us? Well, the hour hand tells us it's sometime between 7 and 8. So it's 7 with some minutes past that. So the time is somewhere between 7 and 8. So what does the minute hand tell us? Well, um, uh, as we count along here, you guys, remember, if we go by uh, the numbers right here, they count for 5 minutes. So here's, here's uh, 5, here's 10, here's 15, here's 20. Now 25 is right here, so it's somewhere between 20 and 25. Now remember, each little tick mark counts as one, so I'm going to keep counting, but by one. So we're at 20, so there's 21, 22, 23, we've got to do one more, so there's 24 right there. So this mark right here ended on the 24 minute past the hour right there. Okay, so the minute hand is 24 minutes after the hour. Let me move that up. So we're going to write it as 724. So this says 7024. And we read it as 24 minutes after 7. Or here we write it as 724. Okay. All right. So that's how we write that. Okay. Now another way is to find the minutes before the hour. So look at this clock right here. Look at the time on the face clock. What does the hour hand tell us? Okay. The hour hand is not quite at 5. It's almost at 5, but it's not quite at 5. It's somewhere between 4 and 5. So that it's either going to be a little bit before 5 o'clock or it's going to be uh, after 4 o'clock. So it's somewhere between 4 and 5 o'clock. What does the minute hand tell us? Well, it's somewhere between the 8 and the 9 right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to count. And we're going to count, find the minutes before the hour. So before it gets all the way up here at 5 o'clock, we're going to see how many minutes it is before 5 o'clock. So we're going to count backwards right here to see how many minutes. So now we count by fives and ones from the 12 and go on the clock back to where the, the minute hand points. Okay, so here we go. 5, 10, 15, and then uh, there's the 15 right there on the 9, and so this is 16. So it is 16 minutes before the hour. So when a clock shows 31 or more minutes after the hour, so this is 30 minutes after the hour when the, the minute hand is down here. So this would be 31 minutes after the hour. So if it's uh, um, if it's uh, more than 31 minutes after the hour, then we can count the time as a number of minutes that are before the next hour right here. So this is going to be 16 minutes before the next hour. Okay, so uh, let me move that up right here. So when a clock, uh, uh, so we can uh, call this, uh, this is at 444 right here. If we went around this way, here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So there's 44 minutes after 4, so that's why it's 444. Or we can count it as uh, how many minutes before the hour. It is 16 minutes. Uh, this is going to be minutes right here. It's going to be 16 minutes before 5. Okay, so 16 minutes before 5 is the same as 444. All right, you guys. So just be careful, you guys. Uh, remember that uh, the time after the hour uh, uses the previous hour. So it's either 444 if it's the time after the hour, and the time before the hour uses the next hour. So if we're talking about before the hour, then we're going to say how many minutes it is before the hour. In this case, it was uh, 16 minutes before 5 o'clock right here. And 16 minutes before 5 o'clock is the same as 444. Okay, so you can say it both ways. All right, you guys, if you can, go ahead and like the video or don't like the video. Um, and have a great day, you guys. Hope you're having a fantastic year.